In today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean the boost material on the Adidas Ultra Boost or NMDs or any other Adidas that has a boost midsole. The video is not going to be about cleaning the whole shoe as that's the easiest part, but more focused towards the boost. Um, out of all the shoes I've owned, it's definitely the hardest, hardest midsole to clean. And truth be told, it's not going to get 100% clean like you can on other shoes. But this method will ensure you get the best results possible. So stay tuned. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put some warm water in the basin. Um, after that, add a few squirts of this sneaker cleaning solution. So um, I suggest using a sneaker cleaning solution or some soap, not toothpaste, uh, for the midsole. Because I've done that and it kind of stained the upper here and made it all hard so it's not soft anymore um, because we're gonna get onto the toothpaste later so you don't want to use it to scrub on the midsole when it's gonna come up here with the water and all that so I'm gonna give the shoe a quick clean using the solution so for the midsole I'm gonna be using this hard bristle brush and for the upper this soft bristle brush so let's get into it done you just want to grab a rag and just wipe it down get it ready for the next step oh and one more thing don't forget about the bottoms okay so now the shoes all clean and dry we're gonna grab some toothpaste um, I use whitening toothpaste and just using my finger I'm going to put it all around the midsole and then leave it on there for about half an hour and then hopefully more of the dirt will get eaten away so what you want to do is put it around the bottom half over here where most of the yellowing is like I said if you get it on the uh, on the material, it will stain it and make it look ugly. So you kind of want to keep away. Only put it on like the bottom ridge, so where it separates there. Put it on the bottom half because that's the only place you really need it. Because the rest doesn't really yellow. On top, that's come up really clean. If needs be, put it on both halves but then just give the shoe a deep clean after again. So you'll be doing two deep cleans, but at least you'll be saving the, the uppers. So you can't see on camera, but around here, the hill area, is really yellow um, just from dirt and all that and the inside as well so listen I got a bit on the upper there so I'll just end up giving the whole thing a deep clean again just to make sure everything comes out well Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry for about half an hour and then show you how to wipe it off and show the end result. So the toothpaste has dried for about half an hour now. Um, now it's time to just remove it. So what I'm gonna do is grab this towel that I used to wipe the shoe off, grab a dry end and just wet it with some running water. Um, then what I'm going to do from there 
is wiped down avoiding the uppers and just get all the toothpaste off after that I'm just going to give the shoe another another clean on the midsole using the sneaker cleaner so let's get into it Okay, so now it's all wiped off, I'm just gonna do another midsole deep clean, same process as before. So I'm gonna get on with that and then um, then show the finished product. Okay, so the shoe's all done, check it out. Now, they came out pretty clean compared to before with all the yellow in. So, this is more of a quick clean method rather than putting some 40 volume cream or um, sole bright on the midsole to clean them. This is just in case you're in a rush, you know, it took no more than 40 minutes. And if you need them done any quicker, you can just put the toothpaste on while you're doing something, maybe getting changed, um, jumping in the shower. Then when you jumped out, maybe five, 10 minutes later, wipe it off, you'll still get good results. And these came out almost almost brand new if I'm honest considering how much I wear them and use them so thanks for watching and stay tuned I'm gonna be hitting these up with a custom thank you